The period of a simple pendulum for a small amplitude is given by the function t of l is equal to 2 pi times the square root of l over 32, where t of l is the period in seconds and l is the length of the pendulum in feet. Find the period of a pendulum if its length is one foot. So length is one foot, we're asked to find the period. So t of one would equal two pi by the square root of one over 32. All right, and we're just gonna run that through the calculator. Two pi, the pi button is over on the right hand side is the second function of the exponent key. Two pi times the square root of one over 32, close off the radical hit enter, and about 1.11. So a one foot pendulum will have a period of about 1.11 seconds. How long does a pendulum need to be if we want the period to be 2.5 seconds? So we want the period, we want the output to be 2.5. So we need 2.5 to be equal to 2 pi by the square root of L over 32. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is isolate the L over 32. I need to isolate that the square root of L over 32. So I'll divide by 2 pi. So that would give me 25, I'm sorry, 2.5 over 2 pi is equal to the square root of L over 32. Remove the square root by squaring both sides. So then 2.5 squared, that's 6.25 over 2 pi squared, that would be 4 pi squared, is equal to L over 32. Then to isolate the L, I'll multiply both sides by 32. So then we would have L equals 32 times 6.25 over quantity 4 second pi square. Be careful about that denominator. You gotta put in in parentheses. So just sort of be careful there. 5.07. All right, so for the pendulum, to have a period of 2.5 seconds, the length would need to be 5.07 